You were also named CFO of the year in 2019. What has it meant to you to be recognized for the work and the contributions you've made in your long history of corporate leadership? Well, that is just probably one of the highlights of my career, certainly the highlight of my career to date and probably will be one of the biggest highlights for my career forever. To be named CFO of the year for the country is just such a huge honor and really recognition of the team that I was a part of at WSIB that that did just amazing things to do such a huge corporate turnaround, the biggest corporate turnaround in Canadian history from a, a very bad time where we were $14 billion in deficit to bring us back up to fully funded status almost nine years ahead of schedule. So a huge accomplishment. And on top of that, the WSIB as a broader public sector, quasi public sector organization, no public sector organization had ever been honored, honored with the CFO of the Year Award. So for public servants everywhere, I think it's a great symbol of that often thankless sector, often a denigrated sector, that we can really achieve amazing things in that sector. There are amazing people who work there and they do wonderful things that people don't think about in the community so much every day. You think about big banks, insurance companies, um, this year's nominee who's amazing from CP Rail. Those are the companies that you think about that would be represented by a CFO of the year and such a great finance team. So to have an organization like the WSIB that is more part of the public sector recognized, I think is just amazing for that community and for the work that's done by public servants every day. Excellent. Thank you. Can you tell, can you provide a little bit more detail in terms of what what your role was with WSIB and what WSIB does? For sure. Thanks, Patty. It's a good question. So the WSIB is the Workplace Safety and Insurance Board. And for the province of Ontario, it ensures both workplaces as well as the workers from uh, to protect, promote health and safety in the workplace, and then to provide benefits, rehabilitation, re-education, in some cases reskilling, if someone is injured in the course of their work. Now with 2020 that just passed, often that has been people that have succumbed to uh, COVID-19 in the healthcare sector and the care that they've needed, but often more, more just prosaic things that happen, like you slip and fall getting out of your car if you're a, dr a trucker or a delivery person and you break your knee, you break your ankle, you need assistance, you can't work, so you have benefits, you're covered by WSIB, you are going to get great re rehabilitation operations if you need it. Over time, actually, the WSIB is Canada's largest single purchaser of hearing aids. So people who worked in factories for many, many years before there was real recognition of the detrimental impact of noise, ambient noise in factories. So that, uh, that kind of care is what WSIB does and every single province in the country has its own workplace compensation system. And WSIB is, is the largest being in Ontario. And so we serve 230,000 businesses and over 5 million people. I say we, I've departed from there now, but it's still very much a, a part of me. Mm -hmm. And you were CFO and CSO for WSIB. Can you provide a little bit of a description in terms of what that entailed for you in uh, within WSIB? Sure. Actually, I was chief financial officer and head of employer services, not CSO at WSIB. And what employer services are, are those 230,000 businesses that pay their premium rates to WSIB. So I managed that P&L for the business. So I did all the corporate business side or led that team of uh, about 350 people, call centers talking about their accounts, figuring out how they fared against their estimates at the beginning of the year, what their injury rates looked like in their organizations and so forth. And then on the finance side, 
a little more typical, your corporate reporting, your FP&A, lots of long-term projections. But we also had things like our actuarial sciences department, which had a lot of proud Waterloo grads as well, of course. And that was where we determined what the actuarial value of our liabilities were for all of the different benefits that the WSIB provides. Excellent. Thank you.